What if rockets could land, refuel, and relaunch? All in the same day. SpaceX's recent test flight just brought us one step closer to that future. Just a few days ago, SpaceX stunned the world by catching the super heavy booster midair and landing the Starship spacecraft smoothly thanks to their cutting edge launch infrastructure. But what happened to the launch tower and the booster after this daring maneuver? Stick with us as we explore the aftermath of this incredible event and the latest insights from Elon Musk. SpaceX's early Starship tests were challenging. Stage zero, the launch pad system, struggled to handle the raw power of the super heavy booster. With 33 Raptor engines generating half a million pounds of thrust each, liftoffs were explosive, leaving the launch pad in disrepair. Early tests even blasted a crater under the pad, forcing costly repairs and delaying future flights. But SpaceX didn't back down. They revamped the infrastructure, including installing a water deluge system to absorb heat and shock waves during liftoff. Flight 5 marked a turning point. The water deluge system worked flawlessly, protecting the pad from heat and vibrations. This success reflects SpaceX's vision of rapid reusability, where rockets launch and land repeatedly with minimal downtime. The real showstopper of Flight 5, however, was Mechazilla. This massive tower equipped with chopstick arms is designed to catch the super heavy booster in midair. The logic is groundbreaking. Why let boosters crash into the ocean or land with heavy refurbishment needs when you can catch them and get them ready for another launch almost instantly? And this time it worked. The booster executed a controlled hover before being gently captured by the chopstick arms. A remarkable achievement given that the booster weighs over 3 million kilograms when fully loaded. Yet the operation wasn't without its challenges. As the booster hovered, a fire broke out in the engine bay, scorching the lower part of the rocket. Surprisingly, all three engines continued to function normally, but the intense heat warped the outer nozzles. Elon Musk later acknowledged this issue, remarking that the engines were almost cooking, but emphasized the damage was minor and repairable. Another unexpected outcome was the slight flex of the chopstick arms under the booster's weight, bending by about 15 centimeters. Fortunately, bumper pads inside the arms absorbed most of the impact, preventing any structural damage to the tower. The Raptor engines also performed admirably, delivering the booster with precision and power. While the heat caused minor cosmetic damage to the booster's exterior, these issues can be easily resolved before the next flight. Flight 5 brings SpaceX closer to a game-changing future, where rockets can launch, land, refuel, and relaunch within hours. This rapid turnaround would revolutionize the space industry, making it possible to conduct multiple missions in a single day. SpaceX's next big milestone? Developing orbital refueling stations to extend the range of Starship missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX's vision of making space travel routine is becoming more real with each test flight. From the resilience of Stage Zero to the precision of Mechazilla, Flight 5 proves SpaceX is well on its way to revolutionizing space exploration. With every launch, they bring humanity closer to a future where interplanetary travel is no longer a dream, but a regular part of life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time for more exciting space news.